Good evening, everyone. My name is Jim Oliver, and I'm the provost of this, the Seminole campus of St. Petersburg College. It's my pleasure to welcome you this evening to SPC. We're glad you're here. You are why we're here. Uh, we celebrate your success to date, and we invite you to grow and achieve with us as you start your college career. Uh, I'm also pleased to introduce St. Petersburg College's new president, Dr. Bill Law, who became the sixth president of the college on June 7th of this year. He came to SPC with over 20 years of experience as a community college president, mostly uh, serving most recently as president of Tallahassee Community College for eight years. He also served at St. Petersburg College, then St. Petersburg Junior College, for seven years as vice president for institutional and program planning. This position provided experience with SPC, its mission and its staff, as well as a familiarity with the community and its leadership. I could spend considerable time talking about Dr. Law's legislative accomplishments, his commitment to the arts, and his promotion of economic and workforce development, among other topics. But he is most proud, during his several presidential positions, of his track record as a strong advocate for students. His efforts to increase student success have provided state and national level opportunities, such as consulting with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and providing expert testimony in the United States House of Representatives. During his time at SPC, one thing has become evident. Our students are Dr. Law's number one priority. He has established Dr. Law's listening post, which will take him to the campuses regularly to listen to students who want to voice their concerns and offer suggesting, suggestions for improving their academic experience. His presence here this evening is evidence of his commitment to our students and their academic success. Please join me, join me in welcoming Dr. Bill Law. That's wonderful. Thank you. I, uh, Jim was very kind to, uh, to recall some of those things, and, and he's got it exactly right. Um, I am proud to say and, and fond of saying I would go anywhere uh, to cheer for students who have succeeded, and I would go anywhere to help students succeed. And tonight, we get a chance to cheer for students who have done great work, and that should make us all feel good. Now, the really embarrassing part is that I'm the president of a college, and uh, I am not about to disclose my high school grade point average, okay? Um, those were different times, <laughs> but uh, really, I'm so proud of, of students here. Uh, I, I'm only been here for a couple of months, but I know uh, from my prior experience, and, and uh, I'm here because I chose to apply and I was lucky enough to be selected, uh, but when the door to the classroom closes, students at our college are getting one of the very best educations in America. You're getting it close to home. You're getting it from a faculty that treasures their role. They are here because they like to teach. They're here because they're very good at teaching. They're here because they know how to help students learn and how to help students achieve their goals. For students who come to us, we know they're going to be successful. If you don't want to be successful, you've got to wake up every morning and say, I'm going to avoid those faculty who have office hours. I'm going to avoid the counselors who can help me with my uh, personal or success needs. I'm going to avoid the learning centers that we have when I need help outside of class. I'm going to avoid the financial aid people who help me steer through those kinds of things. I mean, you've got to make a list every day of people that you're going to avoid if you don't want to be successful. If you want to be successful, it's much easier. I'm going to find those people. I'm going to search them out. I'm going to ask for their help. I'm going to get, treasure their counsel. We love it when we can get our arms around our students to help them be successful. So to our students, congratulations, well-earned recognition and honor. To the loved ones, congratulate yourselves. This is one of life's great moments. You all ought to be very, very proud and, and uh, share our great pride in welcoming your loved ones to St. Petersburg College. I, um, we all work for somebody else, and it is my pleasure to uh, take a second just so that you see the chairman of our board of trustees, Mr. Ken Burke. Ken, would you stand up, please? Uh, Ken is... Um 
Ken, I've worked for a lot of trustees, and, and Ken is a student uh, advocate of the highest order and has, has done his, his very best to make sure we stay focused on student needs. Uh, we have our chief academic officer, Dr. Ann Cooper, with us tonight. Ann, if you would stand, please, okay? And we have our chief student services officer, Dr. Tanj Williams. Tanj, if you would stand up, okay? Thank you very much. We have a whole cadre of people over here uh, who make things work. I suspect during the course of the night we'll take a chance to recognize each of them. Again, welcome to St. Petersburg College and congratulations. We look forward to seeing you walk across the stage as graduates. So this is just the first. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Law. Uh, St. Petersburg College has an honor society, Phi Theta Kappa. Uh, it's a very prestigious uh, society for students uh, in the associate degree program. And uh, speaking of walking across the stage, I hope we get to see all of you walk across stages like this one uh, at the Digitorium at the Seminole campus and at all the campuses you're attending uh, to be inducted into the uh, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society when your time comes. And this evening, we have uh, as our first student speaker, uh, Josh Irvin. Uh, we'll hear from him. He's the president of the Phi Theta Kappa at a new chapter. Um, you're welcome to read his full bio on the left-hand side of your program. Please, please join me in welcoming Josh Irvin. Josh. Good evening, everybody. My hearing aid must be turned off. Let's try this again. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. Um, as Dr. Oliver said, I am the president of the Ada New Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa's International Honor Society, which is based on the St. Petersburg Gibbs campus, and it is a pleasure to serve Phi Theta Kappa. I am also the regional representative for the scholarship chapter of the Florida region, and, but most importantly, I am an SPC student just like you. In my four years of becoming a college student, I have made an observation. College opens many doors for students. A personal example explains how college has placed me where I'm at today. Two years ago, I was a college student who was just working at Walmart part-time. I left Walmart in 2008 and decided it was time to take full advantage of what SPC could offer me. At that time, I was a member of Phi Theta Kappa, albeit I was inactive at the time. I decided to become active in Phi Theta Kappa, taking on projects such as Junior Achievement and Habitat for Humanity, becoming a student leader as well. As a result of my involvement, I was nominated and elected for Vice President of Scholarship, and the next year I was nominated and elected as chapter president. As a student leader, I have been able to hone my skills in communicating and working with others, in developing more rigorous academic and research skills, and also in learning the ins and outs of co coordinating a community service project and working with organizations like Junior Achievement Habitat for Humanity on setting up these events. Each experience taught me something new. Each experience offered me practical applications for knowledge I was gaining in the classroom. But I have something in common with each of you that earned me the membership in the Phi Theta Kappa and helped me succeed at St. Petersburg College, my personal achievements in the academic field. Each and every one of you in this room tonight is here because of your personal and academic achievements and because you have demonstrated excellence in education and have proven yourselves in your studies. Academic achievements are really something that you should be proud of. Receiving recognition for an excellent student and excellent academics shouldn't be taken lightly. I want to diverge for a moment and tell you another story. As a Phi Theta Kappa leader, I had the privilege and opportunity to attend a convention where MSNBC's Dr. Rachel Maddow was a keynote speaker. Something that she said at this convention really resonated with me. 
She said that although it may be normal for people to accept mediocrity, we should take the chance to unleash our full potential. In the words of Dr. Maddow, if being smart and getting good grades makes you a nerd, if being into technology makes you a geek, if being earnestly interested in learning new concepts and skills makes you a dweeb, then be a nerd, be a geek, be a dweeb. Because A, the country needs you, and B, you're gonna be a better friend, a better date, and a better parent than somebody who's too cool for school. Academics should be one of your primary focuses since you have the chance to pursue your education. But at the same time, try to be a student leader. There are opportunities to be such a leader through student clubs, the Student Government Association, and through other avenues. Student leadership is a means to interact with students outside the classroom and allows you to demonstrate commitment, work ethic, and interpersonal skills that are vital to succeeding in the world outside the classroom. Leadership will allow you to become a more successful person academically and professionally. Student leadership can also allow you to develop the skills necessary to becoming an active participant in serving your community. I know that being a student leader has given me a chance to make tremendous success of my opportunities here at SPC, and it has also helped me to focus on academics as I begin my final year as a baccalaureate student at St. Petersburg College. You are all brilliant, successful students. College is a new world, and I vividly remember when I tumbled into it. And as Dr. Law stated, I'm not gonna reveal my GPA when I first started. <laughs> Be earnest in your college education, and it will reap enormous benefits and rewards throughout your life. Con once again, congratulations on your accomplishments, and welcome to St. Petersburg College. Thanks, Josh. Well said. S SPC has a very active honors college, uh, honors college program, uh, and likely uh, many, if not most of you, are already aware of it or even enrolled in honors college classes. If you're not, you should be. I'm here to tell us more about that and about uh, the honors uh, college and honors courses uh, is Spencer Reed. Uh, he's the president of the Honors College Student Consortium, and again, you can read more of Spencer's full resume in your program. Spencer Reed. Thank you very much, Dr. Oliver. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be here tonight. Uh, my name is Spencer Reed, and I'm a sophomore biomedical science student here at the college. And I'm president of the Honors College Student Consortium, which is the student voice of the Honors College. On behalf of the Honors College and the Consortium, I would like to congratulate you all on both your outstanding academic achievements during high school and becoming a recipient of the SPC Presidential Scholarship Award as well. As many of you know, the Presidential Scholarship is a merit-based award given to high school students who earn at least a 3.8 cumulative GPA through their seventh semester of high school. Earning a GPA of at least 3.8 demonstrates not only a strong commitment to your studies, but an overall dedication to true academic excellence as well. This dedication to academic excellence will serve you very well from your general education re requirements completed at SPC, which will form the bedrock of your college career, to graduate and doctoral level courses at future universities and beyond. Tonight, I wanna to give you all a little synopsis of my personal and academic experience with St. Petersburg College, and then take a closer look at my experiences with the Honors College in specific. As I mentioned earlier, I'm currently majoring in biomedical sciences on a pre-med track. And ever since I was a little child, I have always dreamed of becoming a medical doctor. As I got older for some reason or another, I took an interest in surgery. Although it wasn't until I actually saw surgery being performed that I realized I wouldn't have the stomach to perform surgery at all on my patients. As devastating as this was for me at the time, I think this awakening was actually a good thing for both myself and my future patients. <laughs> During my high school years, I was very active in many sports, including swimming and crew. 
and involved in various student organizations and groups, just as many as you were, or as many as you were, uh, such as Mock Court, Model UN, Key Club, and Spanish Club. During the beginning of my sophomore year of high school, I became very ill with a rare autoimmune thyroid disease, complicated by my type 1 diabetes, diagnosed when I was six years old. In essence, I would spend the remainder of my high school career in what was called teleclass, a form of homeschooling provided to me and other chronically ill students over the phone through Dunedin High School. These three years were extremely difficult for me, both socially and academically, but would change my academic career forever. I was accepted to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, my senior year of high school. And very unfortunately, the current state of my health at that time prohibited me from attending such an excellent and top medical research university. Although I was very disappointed at the time that I would not follow the so-called normal path that most of my friends were following, you know, moving out, living in a dorm, and basking in the overrated bliss of independence, I came to learn that I should not be disappointed at all. This realization came to me after I received a letter from SPC, much like you all have, stating that I was eligible to receive the Presidential Scholarship Award. After accepting that I would not be going to Johns Hopkins, I applied to SPC, accepted the award, and began the amazing journey I'm continuing on here at the college. About a year ago, through taking an anatomy and physiology course with uh, Dr. Nadia Yevstigneva, the director of the Honors College, I learned of the Honors College, I applied, and since have become a very active and involved member. I subsequently joined Phi Theta Kappa on my home campus and became very involved in the college's newly formed undergraduate research society. Created by an honors student, his name is Kinan Tufeki, and I must brag for a second, he actually is an Honors College alumni. He graduated last year uh, with Honors College and SPC and uh, will be majoring in biomedical engineering at the University of Miami. This involvement with all that SPC offers us as undergraduate students is, in what, is what, in my opinion, has really helped me to succeed in all areas of school, whether it be in my classes, in research, or outside of a school setting. And I strongly urge all of you to become active within PTK, within Honors College, and similar student groups as well. Speaking on behalf of the Honors College tonight, I'd also like to share a very abbreviated version of mine in Honors and Honors College at SPC. As I mentioned earlier, I was originally introduced to the Honors College when uh, Dr. Yevstigneva, my anatomy professor at the time, strongly suggested I join and forcibly handed me an Honors College application. Unlike many of you who have already actively sought out the Honors College, uh, I was not as motivated as you were at the time. It wasn't until I became involved with the many events hosted by the Honors College, such as the Earth Day event uh, that was done last year, and my subsequent enrollment in Honors courses that my experience with Honors began. For me, the challenging and interdisciplinary envir environment of Honors courses immediately attracted me to enroll as several of them over the past year, such as Honors Western Humanities, Service Learning, International Relations, Chemistry, and Cellular Biology. Not only working with honors faculty as a student assistant in the Honors College office, but actually taking their classes provided me a chance to expand my potential to learn beyond the textbook and beyond a letter grade. In honors classes, the focus is not just on attaining a good grade, but to learn ways in which to grasp information so that it doesn't just become something you must study, but something you want to study. I think this is a guiding principle within honors courses in education, and as very soon to, be, uh, soon to be college students and honors college students, hopefully, this principle can assist you in your academic studies just as it continues to assist me. For example, for those of you who will take anatomy and physiology at all at SPC, uh, there is an excellent, excellent professor on this campus. Her name is uh, Dr. Anita Naravne. I had her for anatomy and physiology, too. Because of her excitement for course material and novel ways in which she fostered discussions in the class, my passion for the sciences and specifically for immunology began. This passion not only led to a great grade in her class, but in my working with researchers at the University of South Florida, where I just this week found out that a study I had been working on regarding HIV-associated dementia would be published in a peer-reviewed medical journal called Molecular Neurodegeneration. Thank you. 
to me, the wealth of knowledge Dr. Naravne brought to the class augmented a hundred times over what we learned in our textbooks, and thus providing valuable academic and scholastic opportunities to students like myself. Other honors faculty, such as Dr. Greg Bird, who I had the pleasure of taking for Composition II, just recently won the coveted Fulbright Award and will be traveling to Albania to conduct his literary research there. The amazing and prestigious accomplishments of honors faculty and SPC faculty enriches the student's understanding and interest in the material at hand, another benefit I feel honors courses provi provide to students such as yourselves. I have to also mention, as an Honors College student, what an amazing opportunity traveling to Honors Research Conferences has been uh, to me and to other Honors students. In March of this year, the Honors College hosted our third annual research conference at the Epicenter, in which Honors students present their undergraduate research of choice to peers and faculty alike. Nine honor students, including myself, were selected to travel to Greenville, South Carolina to present at this three-day honors conference hosted by the Southern Regional Honors Council. I presented my research on toxicology as well as amino acids and neuropsychiatric disease, and my other friends who came along presented their research on topics such as Norwegian Romanticism, American propaganda during World War II, and ancient medicine in the ancient world. This conference was an amazing venue in which to grow my public speaking skills, network with hundreds of other like-minded students across the country, and create strong, lifelong friendship with my fellow peers. Creating these friendships with my peers has allowed me to keep in contact with them, and I have to just mention one tonight uh, who traveled with us to the conference. He just recently graduated from SPC and was accepted to University of Michigan Aerospace Engineering Program a top three program of its kind in the US and will be majoring in nuclear fission. It means a lot to me to make lifelong friendships and keep in contact with them, and I feel the Honors College provides such a medium to do just that. After the SRHC conference, my faculty mentor suggested that I apply for the National Honors Conference hosted in October in Kansas City, Missouri. I learned a few months ago that I was accepted to prevent my, present my research on environmental toxicology at this conference. And I can say without a doubt that my experiences in honors conferences, thanks solely to honors college and faculty, is what provided the very strong platform for me to grow as a person and as a student and to excel in the areas of studies that interest me. I know that as a physician one day, these experiences will provide so important for me in all aspects of my professional life. And now, as a student at SPC, I know that my involvement with the Honors College has catapulted my academic standing and truly created and stirred a passion within me for learning, for research, and for service to the community. Carl Friedrich Gauss, the distinguished German mathematician and scientist once said, it is not knowledge, but the act of learning not possession, but the act of getting there, which grants the greatest enjoyment. I hope you all will come to learn with great enjoyment. As highly motivated, creative, articulate, and intelligent college students, you will now begin with the strong support of your SPC faculty, administrators, and fellow peers to embark on your academic journey in higher education. I strongly encourage you to become involved in honors courses, take honors and honors classes, to take honors courses, and to expand your learning potential beyond what will be required of you to know in the classroom. Congratulations once again for your hard work and dedication, and much success in all of your studies now and in the future. Finally, I just want to mention two honor students with us today, Elena Gorka and Peggy Neal. Can you guys wave your hands? Uh, them, they're here, including myself, tonight to answer any questions you may have about Honors Courses or Honors College. Uh, after um, we're done tonight, please come by and see us uh, before you leave so we can get to know you better and answer any of your questions. Thank you all very much and have a great evening. Thank you so much, Spencer, uh, for those remarks. It's now the time of the program where we get to honor the students uh, for your achievements and for your receipt of the Presidential Scholarship. Uh, we, we don't take these sorts of things lightly, and we know the amount of work that you and working with your, 
your parents and grandparents and significant others and husbands and wives have, have, uh, have done to get to this point. Um, we're very proud of you, and we're glad that we can have this ceremony to honor you. We're going to have our marshals um, assist you, but before we do that, I know there's a number of members of our academic and student support team that are here, and rather than try to introduce them individually, since they may be dispersed in the crowd, you already met our chief uh, academic and student services officers, uh, but if any other uh, of our academic and student services team will please stand, uh, I would like to, them to get a round of applause. Anybody out there? We have a, a remarkable team of individuals at St. Petersburg College across all the campuses whose goal is your success. Um, if uh, I can get the uh, marshals to assist us, we're going to have the students come up uh, the stairs to uh, receive their certificate case and then go down the stairs, go to the back and pick up their certificate. And reading names this evening will be our college-wide Dean of Communications, Dean Dr. Martha Campbell. Dean Campbell. Amira Abed. Brooklyn Frejo. I really do want to pronounce your names correctly, so. Crystal Wright. Melissa Dome. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas Book. Amira Abid. Thank you. Constance Macris. Okay. Jeffrey Solorzano. Alyssa Dugas. <laughs> Katrina Lawson. <laughs> Destiny Frost. <laughs> Casey McKenna. Eva Hill. Martika Batista Martin. Yim Chan. Ashley Sullivan. Yes. Malia Holly. Thank you. Kyle Bell. Congratulations. Katie Wilfert. Molly Wilford. Rachel Mertz. Thank 
Clarissa Mason. <laughs> Kelly Young. <laughs> Jenna Hauser. Margaret McClare. Congratulations. Krista Davis. Congratulations. Edward Kazar. Cassandra Grass. John Zvoncheck. How bad was that? Probably pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you. Gregory Hartung. Andrew Hines. Zoe Lowe. Thank you. Caitlin Taylor. Congratulations. Seth Varney. Shelby Shoup. Congratulations. Katie Ferguson. Congratulations. Shannon Winkler. Caroline Haver. Brian Scansaroli. Jessarin Huseman. Congratulations. Chloe Vecchio. <clears throat> Sergio Zamudio. Ritush Pahari. Jamie Bunting. Alexandra Freeman. Maria Proradovich. Dwight To. Sarah Cora. Congratulations. Alicia Bouchard. Alexander Knapp. Congratulations. 
Lindsay Payne. Michael Damala. Gina Milanovic. Priscilla Moreno. Dylan Gerard. Paula Cooper. Congratulations. Yeah, Samantha Humphreys. <laughs> Michael DeCars. Alexander Chulu. <laughs> Catherine Waters. <laughs> Lindsay Sue Scott. Whitney McPhee. Yes. Chelsea Simmons. Shamira Bird. Mallory Mettler. Fong Nguyen. Nicole Han. Mackenzie Silcox. Thank you, ma'am. Alyssa Cabbage. Congratulations to all the recipients. beautiful, beautiful program. And I just want to say a few words to the parents. We just thank you so much for entrusting your now adult um, to St. Petersburg College. It is, in, it is truly a privilege for us to serve them and to work with them and to work with you. So we hope that this won't be the last time we have an opportunity to see you. And I hope that it won't be the time when something's wrong that I get to see you. Um, but we at St. Petersburg College just want to express how proud we are of all the students. You guys have worked very hard in high school to earn that 3.8 GPA. And I can make a few promises to you. One, you will find that St. Petersburg College is so not the 13th grade. Second, you will find that while we are serving our students, we're also teaching in every way. And that means that we have to let them go and we have to let them grow. And so we're very excited to have that opportunity to work alongside your loved ones and to work with you. Please come back and see us. We have basketball and all kinds of different activities here at the college. So you should come and check us out and see what we have going. Students, 
You will hear from us after the first couple of weeks of school to see how things are going. Make sure that we are showing you everything that you need to be successful. And we look forward to your joining the Honors College, PTK, SGA, and any other leadership initiative here at St. Pete College. We have refreshments out um, front here for you, and we look forward to mingling with you. Thank you again for coming. We're very proud of you.